Hey, this is Knife Standards. Today I'm going to be doing a comparison between the Something Obscene Company J-Cave version 3.5 and the brand new J-Cave V4. And the V4 I just got in maybe two days ago. And this was a long pre-order, nine or 10 month pre-order. That's right about where I draw the line personally, even for a knife that I'm super excited about. Right when it gets that eight, nine month uh, timeline, I start to lose interest just a little bit. But luckily it arrived kind of just in time for me. And um, if you guys are interested in just the cliff notes, um, you want to get right to it. The 3.5 is one of my favorite knives. And um, it's one of my favorite knives in my collection. One of my most carried knives. And it's not going anywhere. The V4, I got in a couple days ago, and it has already sold. So, um, why, I'm sure you guys are wondering, why did I sell it? Um, well, this is definitely the improved version. I think, objectively, this is an improved version of this. It is the V4. There's a lot of really cool things that Felix changed. If you guys don't know, Felix runs Something Obscene Company. It's a one-man show over there. Um, but he changed a lot of things that I think are kind of quality of life improvements over the 3.5. But um, I'm a little bit, uh, you know, torn here because the I, I should like the V4 more. To me, it looks better. But I am keeping the 3.5 in my collection and I already sold the V4. So why did I sell it? Well, there were two, no, there were three options when you pre-ordered this. And there was the, first of all, on the 3.5, it's flipper or it's thumb studs. And on the V4, you could do thumb studs, flipper, or dual action. And I had never tried a flipper for, um, for the J-Capes. And a lot of people love the JK flipper. And I thought, well, I'm not going to abandon the studs. I always will prefer studs over flippers. But I thought, you know what? That seems like a good idea. <laughs> I'm going to get the dual action. And a lot of people love the dual action. I've seen videos on Instagram, posts on Reddit, where they're loving the uh, flipper and the thumb studs. Personally, for me, I'm always going to choose thumb studs over the flipper. And when I started flipping this, it just, I mean, it's, it's great for a flipper, but it just doesn't, something about, I don't know, something about this kind of almost like pocket peckery, you know, thing sticking out to me aesthetically, the thumb stud only version looks better, um, at least to my eye. And the flipper action for me, for my, for my feel, for my touch, it's not super satisfying. And I can compare it to, let's see, what do I have here? Uh, I can compare it to this guy. Like when I hit that flipper, I'm like, oh yeah, it makes me want to hit the flipper again. And I'm not a huge flipper guy. You know, I've kind of, I've come across and been lucky enough to handle what I think are the best flippers. You got, you know, stuff from Holt, you got stuff from Grimsmo. Um, and then this is actually very surprisingly good. I don't know why I keep being so surprised by this guy, but so satisfying and for me the flipper on the jk it's just not as satisfying it's nice you can kind of hear that little ting coming starting to come out um but one of the things that started to bug me a little bit on this version was when i go for the thumb studs i kind of feel not always but i feel the depending on where i place my hand i kind of feel the um the flipper, just a little bit, kind of rubbing against my finger. These are like little <laughs> tiny nitpick things. So don't, don't don't take me too seriously on these. But um, anyway, so what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to get a V4, another V4, but I'm just going to get the thumb set only because I do think there's a place for this knife in my collection. And I'm going to talk about what changed and the difference between these, but I'm trying to do like a quick rundown if you don't want to watch the, the whole video. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is um, get a thumb stud only version. I'm not sure if I'm going to get the same colorway, um, or the same, you know, configuration. By the way, this is a, to me, aesthetically, like, wow, this 
they call it the satin, these satin inlays. Super cool. But the flip, the bottom line is the flipper's not for me. Ooh, ting. Um, yeah, the flipper's not for me, and it's a bummer because I waited so long for this, but I'm just not in a flipper. Um, I know for now, or I know from now on, I, uh, if I get a J-Cape, it's going to be thumb stud only for my preference, but you guys know I love my thumb stud knives, thumb stud knives all day. Um, a flip for me, a flipper has to be like a dedicated flipper and has to be really damn good, like top, top of the line. And I think, I don't think anyone's doing it as good as Grimsmo or Holt as far as flippers go. So if I'm getting another knife that's not by them, it's going to be thumb studs or front flipper, but it's not going to be a back flipper. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk. Um, this might be a long video. I don't know. <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah, clip notes, keeping this sold this phenomenal knife nothing wrong with this i'm just not super into the the dual action and the flipper anyway um, but i am going to be looking for one of these with the thumb stud only whenever uh there's a drop or whenever felix gets back from blade show because that's right around when i'm filming this is uh blade show weekend so let's go ahead and talk about some of the and i'm sure i'm going to miss some of the improvements and some of the changes um but let's go ahead and talk about some of the changes oh by the way you can you can see the, um, just aesthetically, right there. You can kind of see the little flipper hanging out. To me, it's not a big deal, but it's just enough to kind of irk me just a little bit. So anyway, I prefer my 3.5, um, or at least the, uh, the thumb stud only. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the changes. First of all, I think the biggest change the scales are a little bit contoured, a little bit rounded, um, and not that there were any sharp edges, uh, you know, on these chamfers on the 3.5, but everything is kind of contoured. And you guys, hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah, hopefully it's coming through. This is more like, you know, two slabs of titanium, two straight slabs, and this is a little bit more ergonomic. As far as ergos go, Yeah, this is this is more it is more comfortable. Um, but another thing to keep in mind, I don't have a scale. I've never been into like weighing and you know, for reviews, I've never been into weighing the knives. Um and be like, this is 3.2 ounces, this is 4.1 ounces, and I just do it by feel. And the 3.5 is so much lighter. I, I don't know what the exact weight is, but so much lighter. And I don't remember I actually haven't carried the 3.5 in i don't know at least at least a couple months um but wow I, I don't remember this being a light knife and the v4 is it's, it's beefy and i don't i don't mind a heavy knife by any means but and when i unbox this i don't know if i i don't think i commented on that it didn't feel particularly heavy to me but comparing these two i'm like wow who knew the 3.5 was so light so really kind of surprising. I'm surprising myself right now. Like, wow. Um, another change. Well, the clip, if you look at it, it's mounted from the inside on the uh, V4. So same. I think it's, it's almost the same clip, but mounted on the inside here. And then, of course, he's turned this into what I would call a bolster lock. You know, it's still a frame lock, but there is this inlay and the inlay is titanium. There's, you know, carbon fiber inlays. He had a whole variety of choices, but, um, you know, if you're a lefty, obviously you can't change the, the clip. It's not reversible, but you're not going to have that issue of pressing on the frame, <clears throat> any issues deploying the knife because you have this inlay. I think the inlay looks awesome not just the the i keep wanting to say i keep wanting to say stainless but it's satin the satin titanium um and then of course on the show side love this inlay too it is totally flush i cannot feel any transitions at all like literally zero so obviously riot crushed it um it's interesting how riot can do such a phenomenal job with this and then 
really mess up the uh, Liang Ma stuff, or his not his stuff, but the last I forget what the what the knife was, but whatever his last knife was, it's it's interesting the the difference because this is like a plus, really sweet. Um, now if you look at the grinds, of course this is more like a you know blacked out like a black wash. Grinds look great. It oh, I can't tell if it's no, I think it's the same. Let's see, hold on, same blade. Yeah, I think it's the exact same blade. But you see the little logo. There's pivot collars on here, although um, apparently the pivot collars were not included in the uh, inlays. So I don't know what that's about. Maybe they're coming later. I don't know. Um, and of course, dual action for this guy. If we look on the inside, there is weight relief. Let's see if you guys can see it. Ooh. There's, you know, um, weight relief and uh, lightning pockets on the show side, but not on the clip side. And then on the 3.5, a ton of weight relief on, hopefully you guys can see that a little bit. I know it's tough to see without a flashlight. Yeah, I don't know if it's coming through on camera, but a lot of weight relief on these scales. Of course, we got full titanium here. Um, one other thing to note is the, I'm trying to see, is there, eh, I guess there's a little bit of a change in the handle. It might be an optical illusion. Mm. It's also a little bit tricky to compare because this has the flipper, but okay. Internal, um, What's it called? Uh, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on the... Uh, <laughs> what's the little thing in there? Uh, oh my gosh. The steel um, insert, the steel insert. Wow, <laughs> it's been a long day. So of course you have these two screws that hold the steel insert, the lock, lock bar insert on that one and it's internally mounted on the V4. So again, all these things in my book are improvements. I think this may be the coolest knife that you can get right now, or at least top three, you know, kind of depending on your tastes. Like if we compare it to, let's say this um, Incozy, This may be the least cool knife, you know. I mean, don't don't take that the wrong guy, the wrong way, uh, everybody. But <laughs> this may be um, the least cool and the most cool knife, at least in my opinion. Are they both great knives? Definitely. Am I keeping this guy? Yes. Um, I actually think I'm gonna get this uh, glass blasted, which will be sick. But anyway, um, this just has everything that you want in a modern pocket knife. Um, one other thing to note, I've heard this one kind of ring and ting a little bit. Trust me, that is not a deal breaker for me. I, I don't really care too much about the sounds as far as like ting. You know, if I really cared about that, I would buy a um, Winter Blade Co. Factor. But there you go. I mean, a little bit of a ting there, but it's very, very noticeable on my 3.5. So, deal breaker for me? No, not, I don't really care. But for some people, I think they're, and I've, I've seen some V4s tinging and ringing and some that don't. I don't really know the science behind the ting, but um, my theory is that it's the inlays. It's that it's titanium inlays. I don't know if that makes any sense. I, I saw someone messing around with the, the pivots on another model, um, and then they were trying to get it to ring via the pivot. Listen, I don't know, <laughs> but I, I feel like some people are expecting that. So you should, you know, kind of make note. I, I have seen V4s go ding every time. And then I've seen some that don't. I think overall, um, there are a lot of improvements in the V4 and I think I'm going to get one. I'm gonna get a thumb stud only version so I can have both the 3.5 and the four. But when you start to compare the two, and you start to feel the weight. Um, it's, and also, yeah, I mean, 
you know, the scales, because of the inlays, the scales are thicker on the V4, a little bit thinner on the 3.5. So I think, I think objectively it's, it's an improvement. I think this is definitely the, you know, the cooler version. He obviously put a lot of thought into improving stuff and making this the better knife. But I think a lot of people are still going to choose the 3.5 over the V4 just because um, it's lighter, a little bit thinner, just you know, a little bit simpler, two, two slabs of titanium. And um, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. And yes, both clips are, are kind of pokey, although the V4 comes with extra hardware, an extra clip that's not the lightning clip. It's like more of a normal normal milled clip and um you know there's endless customizable uh possibilities <laughs> for the v4 just because you can buy all these different inlays so you can have carbon fiber you can have one carbon fiber one titanium you can have damas steel it's crazy stuff really cool inlays um but if that doesn't do it for you and you just want the kind of plain jane you know slab of titanium then Three five is where it is, or where it's at. Um, you can't beat these grinds. Check it, really sweet. And of course, the action is incredible on both of these. I think this one could use a little bit of KPL, but I'm not going to loop it up. I'm about to pack this guy up and get it to its new home. And then, of course, the three point five is actually. I think this is going to go in my pocket today. Um, it's been kind of hanging out in my drawer the last couple months. But uh, I'm back into it. I'm back. Anyway, kind of long video, but I thought, um, you know, there's going to be some people that are curious about the changes. And, oh, if you guys were wondering, the inlays are mounted from the inside. So you can see. It's a little, actually a little hard to see. But there are screws holding the inlays from the inside. So it's very clean, very clean look on the outside of the inlays. And it kind of fills in the lock bar relief cut. What do you guys think? Which one? Which one do you like better? And should I get another V4 thumb stud only? By the way, I, think, I do think this is the coolest version of the V4 with the satin inlays, this kind of black wash, same black wash as this, and then a little bit of a, looks like a light tumble on the um, satin inlays, the titanium. Uh, J Cape, let's go. All right, I think that just about wraps it up. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Knife Standards. I'll catch you later.